Real GD. That's why we see. Yeah. I just don't have the faith in that hero. And Before this morph gets online, right? Top lane, aggression there straight away onto McKay. Presents himself, the tri lane's in position. No hesitation from PSG LGD as they open the game up with the first blood on McKay. A great start for PSG LGD. Bottom lane, Ame. He's dead. Ahmed does not have anything left. Has a tango, maybe some juke potential, oh. but uh, yeah. Should play a bit uh, less aggressive because you know you're going for that kill on the top lane, and now it's uh, kind of equal. Side of, of Boxy as quickly as he can. We'll see what we're seeing in the mid lane. 22 for 9, for nothing to say against the 18 for 4 on Koikfa. So a little bit of a lead here from the Void Spirit. Doing a good job of taking away some of those creeps. And yeah, Ahmed just nice. explodes. <laughs> he did. He, I don't think he was ready for that. Void Spirit, not the easiest hero to kill, but uh, yeah, if someone else also rotates, they could grab a kill, but a lot of harassment coming up from Visage. Void oh. he tries to move in. Uh, but I mean, it, this is an easy turnaround for Jinku and nothing to say. He tries to commit it onto the Void Spirit. He said it's not an easy kill and it cost him his life. Bottom lane, MP. Here's our mate. Shifting up, building up that strength, and it is enough to outdo the damage in the jungle. Oh, yeah. When you look at PSG LGD's lineup, do you think, c can they get in here and can they take this away from Liquid? They don't have the heroes to do it. Like, Tassi doesn't deal well with the, the stacks. Astral Step, another one. He actually gets it. He has committed pretty deep, though. And he's going to have a TP. And there's the root, though. They're able to put a stop to nothing to say. Uh, escape and he, had, he commits in deep for that kill on Insania, costs him his life, and with to stop Liquid from still getting the benefit from it. You might try to get, you know, some XP from it, but th that's it. Like, the yep. Beastmaster needs to rotate if they want to make something happen. Bristleback, he already cleared the stacks and he has the Vanguard. I don't think this hero is going to die that easily. With the tag team, it's going to be okay, but it's a level 2 tag team. So they need to be careful. Uh, and roar. Try him. With the roar, they will find him, but they're going to lose heroes for this. Jin Q. He'll get taken out. Quaifer and Tiger trying to chase down Y, but Faithbeyond still moving the balls in onto Quaifer, making sure that he can push the two of them away. Uh, I gotta say, Faithbeyond, I've been watching Chinese Dota for two months. He's one of the best micro players in the world for sure. Like what he does with the Beastmaster is insane. He also likes to upgrade the shard. But as soon as he sees any hero coming, he's not gonna make mistakes as he did before and go any further in. Bottom lane, Boxy. He's in with a stun, it's not quite enough lockdown to catch, nothing to say. Long enough in that damage of the epicenter, is nothing to say he's able to jump out, get to safety. Jin Q only level 5 at the moment, needs to buy the tome to get himself to level 6, there he goes. Like Tusk deals so much damage, once you get the Orb of Corrosion, plus the Volar Sponge, you can one shot supports. They don't have that much HP, both of these heroes uh, kind of low on the strength gain. Rotation on the mid lane. So TP that they're, they're coming from Liquid if they're able to turn. This fast TP's coming in mid game. He's over, but they've been able to zip in, take out Koifa. How much can they punish PSG LGD for? They've still taken taking down Shinkyu. They're looking towards Ame. Ame taking the tower, hits the roar, comes out, pushing them away, giving space for Ame to continue to retreat for the fear. Catches him before he's able to get away from him. The familiars, they're over him. They keep him locked down as a beautiful play from Tiger sets up for the big kill on the ball. Fear coming in at a perfect oh, time. Oh, blink out it. by Boxy. They also get nothing to say. This is such a good play from Team Liquid. Uh, Ame had the waveform ready. Like, he had like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds available. I don't think they can kill Bristleback. He has a hood and the Vanguard at the moment. He's just uh, way too tanky. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's got the, both the BKB and the Manta queued up. I mean, he's not. Did you get all three of them? Lincoln's BKB and Manta? Or, uh, and get a refresher like as well, and then you have like. Lincoln's BKB man to Lincoln's BKB man yeah. to you got two of them all. I mean, the, the super unkillable. defensive build. I guess they just want to play this game a bit uh, longer. Yeah. He's master getting initiated on. No, oh, that snowball didn't actually save him there. Couldn't get him in time, Shin Kyu. And for that, Shin Kyu's also going to lose his life. Two of them going down. Okay, he's going to try and run down, nothing to say. He's actually still, he's not got a step or to simulate for a second. Dissimilates all he's got to use. He tries to get down to low ground. He's not going to be able to quite reach it as he's trapped on the high ground. Liquid find three. With three dead on PSG LGD Liquid, they'll have more than enough space to head into the pit and get Roshan for themselves. 
Pidge the LGD cannot afford to lose a base master. He needs to use his spells, like delete one hero before the fight starts. Otherwise, it's going to be really Boxy. hard. Like, they need that attack speed. Boxy he is in. He wants Y badly. And he's got it. An easy solo kill there for Boxy. He'll certainly get the use of that center off whilst the other. There we go. Liquid ready to bring the fight down bottom. Arme is now with the TP before they find him. PSG HD trying to escape, Moxie closing in. He's gonna have that Yule set up to catch White. And the kill onto the gyrocopter. No struggles here from Liquid. PSG HD just continuing to try and buy this time. They cause out on the other lanes, mid. Well, the one lane actually diving in past the tower. Again, Boxy, they're ready to go. Mikkei's charging straight into Raw, having to be used on Boxy to, to, to know him. Follow up, and they, they can't do anything with that. It's just a roar down to try to hold back Liquid. And they're just diving in, yeah. ready to go. They're taking this tier 3 tower, and it doesn't seem like there's anything PSG LGD could do to slow yeah, them down. they're just going to go for the high ground. They, they know that they're super strong right now. Bristleback still holding that Aegis for another minute and 10 seconds, so they want to get the, the most out of it. AC, oh, but they get boxed. This is a big kill. And then they get him, but he's going to buy back immediately and come over straight to, towards the fight to keep this going in Liquid's favor, are they? He's in with the BKB, can he turn this around? They've lost two on PSG Engineer, but the BKB starting to come to an end. Armin's gonna get himself right out of there. Dive in on towards Faith Beyond Box. He's gonna get him with the power strike. Set up another kill for Mikke, who gets the triple. GQ's trying to bring down this the Sanky. They will manage to get him, but Mikke That's a dieback for Boxy. Out. He's running them down. Multiple buybacks coming out from PSG OGD in an attempt to try and turn this. Armin's moving in, but his BKB is still on cooldown for 40 seconds. He'll turn into the Visage, try and play his way out of it. See if he can escape. He's into the trees, TPing out. They've got nothing to stop him or catch him, so he will live. They're still defending the barracks. Aegis will be gone in 20 seconds, but they don't have enough damage to kill the Bristleback unless, like, they roar him. They use uh, tag team Volver's Punch from the Tusk. So Mickey can feel pretty secure because Tusk is still gone for 30 seconds. There's a tier two tower in the mid that they can kill. Double damage. I mean Spawn boss first two items. Maybe with that Ags, he's going to be able to do something great from the high ground. And, and in, in terms of Aghanims, this game is, is sort of the one that's at the top of the radar as the morph going to be the Willow. At Willow, but I still maybe prefer Sanking. Like, even Bristleback is not bad. Having that jump with the Sanking sounds really good. They're going to go on it. They're going to try and come out to make it. See if they can take him down. Armin's in with the BKB. They're beating into the Bristle. They'll turn over towards Box and get the easier kill on the Sanking. They bring him down. Boxy's gone. Mickey on the retreat, Armage trying to chase, he's going to look towards Tiger. another turn into the sand, he used the burrow truck, gets them, but the fist is more off. turns, gets him stunned in position, they've got the damage to break through the ball, jump off for CQ as they have fine Tiger as well, snowballing it onto Mickey, but Mickey, they're not going to have the damage to take him down now with Armage gone, as Mickey can hold his ground, turn and take down Xing Jiu. Oh, it was a good play from Ame, but there was like no follow-up. He knows he can get the quick kill onto Boxy whilst he's held in position. Mickey just such such a hard target to kill despite Arme's best efforts. It's, yeah, him alone, it's not going to be enough to cut it against this insanely far bristleback. Team Liquid's understanding of their timings is just extremely good. Like they know when to strike. They're playing the map really fast. This aggression, this lineup from Liquid that you know, Liquid's just look once again, but just, they've turned up. Uh, they've got an assortment of heroes and they know exactly exactly how to play for the victory. They know they know how to close the game up. They do, they know how to play with the first ages, style. second ages, time to try to close out the game. Bristleback, he also wants to get a heart. He's like, they need to take him down twice now with the, oh, good luck the with ages. That. If he gets the heart, he's really close to that, just uh, 300 gold away from it. Not sure how they're gonna do it. Let's see what they can do here. They're gonna have to bring out some sort of a defense. PSG LGD is Mickey knocking at their door. Tier three, it's gone. Nothing been done yet. The Aghanims is finished here. We'll see what sort of magic Arme can pull off. Let's see what he goes for. As the rats, are, they're falling in front of them. Still unable that, to find any chance to get in on this. They're not even gonna try to defend it. Gotta try something if they wanna hold on in this game. 
Dealing with the Megas already with their heroes is not going to be fun. It's Liquid, 21k ahead, 28 to 17. Yet again, a, a third performance back to back today where Liquid have just looked a step above their opponents. Uh, let's see who more decides to turn into. Like possibly, like Bristleback, maybe Dark Willow, like even Sank, like any of these three sounds good, but I feel you have only one try. Like th this is it, because. I mean, you're losing your tier four. Tier four towers are just dying. All right, on the back line, Shin Kyu is having to catch onto Tiger. Tiger goes in with a buyback, over towards the side, they're in with the bow stroke, onto nothing to say. Arme is trying to come over to zip in and have some damage to finish them off, but it isn't uh, enough to get the kill done. Shin has gone, Arme's Linkers has been popped, they're chasing him. Arme's got to be careful, he'll be able to get the pushback onto Bot to at least stop him from jumping in. Buyback comes out from Shin Kyu, Mikke just continuing to run down the oh. over, oh, the flash! As soon as he shifts, he gets back straight away. Oh, he does not gone. have buyback. And that's it's, that's it's GG. Over. It really is over. GG, I mean, it's been over for a while, this one. As Liquid, yet again today, with just a, a, another bit of perfect play. Yeah, Le Liquid. Like, okay, there's the picket. But I've seen this movie before. And this time, I, don't, I feel like the pressure is not on PSG. The Radiance. Also, remember, Raid King's playing into Mana Burn this time around, so needs to possibly get that shard after the 20-minute mark. Also, there's a ton of kite potential. A lot of slows, like, let's say he uses Reincarnation, there's a Gale, oh, right, uh, that's going to be the first blood. Boxy right. gets it. All three of them able to take down Jinkyu. And doing as you do know when you start with this trial link, get, look for that, that first blood opportunity and then break things down. Again. One of those runes that can be pretty much a surefire kill on the Void Spray. They're going to try and go in onto Mikke, but Mikke is able to get the coil off onto the three of them. TPs are coming in. Boxy spearing Y off towards the side. Mikke's still alive and nothing to say. Really wants to go for it with that Astral Step, but he's too low to commit. He can't go in for the action. Bottom lane, Arme trying for the TP out. They have the stun. Tiger's able to put a stop to his escape. Arme should go down and he does. Oh, not enough mana. He needed 15 mana. For that ulti skilled it, not enough. Needs magic wand, magic stick, uh, mango, whatever. Because they could potentially turn around. Get a kill, kill on Koikwa. And now Koikwa, he got that Urn of Shadow Charge from the kill. And we'll start pressuring the tower. Plague Ward level 2, they will get the kill on Jinkyu. Urn of Shadows will finish him off. And more hero to the bottom. Like this tower just falls eventually against the Venomancer, and I don't think they can put the pressure. Epicenter on the top, they will get Insania. I don't think they can get the trade in terms of like trading the tier 1 tower. The Plague Wards, you can force Ame out of the jungle easily. They might even, uh, you know, get a kill, but I don't think they can kill him twice. The top lane, they're going in on a boxy. They're not able to take him down before he's able to get the arena off. He will finally fall, but they lose nothing to save for it in return. They're throwing everything in there to get that mask kill, but coil down. And you see any of these heroes like Boxy coming in with the Mars or Koifu coming in with the Veno. There's just so much turnaround potential from this team fight, Liquid. And would you look at that? Team Liquid having stacks. Money to be made here. Liquid's efficiency, the way they clean up the map. Just sort of across the board, just unmatched by, by many of us squads here. Fabian has that uh, Blink Dagger. He showed it, so uh, they need to play a bit more careful on the side of Team Liquid. Taiga, two fluffy hats, 1000 HP, level 6. Oh, they're in. As soon as they see the Nyx Assassin on the front lines, they make the jump, but already the counterplay comes in, and they've, been, they've lost two. Are they even going to be able to kill off Taiga? They will finally. But that commitment costing them the life of both Nothing to Say and Faith Bian, as again, Liquid are prepared. Boxy this time round. Also, the item build that he went for is extremely good. Just hood, earn, magic wand, it makes you super tanky. They understand where the damage Amid. is coming from, Burrow Strike. What's going on again? Nothing to say, he's got to get his way out of it. He's got to get out, he will manage to do so, he's going to jump back in. Gets in aggressively and with the Inkswell set up, they'll find the two of them. This time around, PSG, LGD, they get the hit and they don't lose anything for it. Unless they, Unless they smoke. Mickey, this time around, going for a different item build, needs to cover himself because of the silences, the stuns and everything, so Yule Scepter first item. I really like that. See over the side. They're trying to go for Quake, but 
Not quite able to take him down 100 to 0. Now the backup's in. Drunko is down. The silence onto the three of them. Mikke is caught the two of them. We'll see a stun follow up from Tiger. That's Logan, not nothing Nano. to say. That's He's able to jump back. out with the Astral How is he step. so tanky? Uh, Eternal Shroud actually keeping him alive there, plus a magic wand and. Uh, get that double benefit with the potential of the Soul Bind. It, it, it should have going to give them that potential that maybe the Ags wouldn't quite at this stage of the game. It's bottom lane, Boxy. Standing his ground, he's still alive. He's able to get the arena off. He's stepping back, the soul binds out, but he's trapped the three of them. Oh, that's Is he not slow. even going to die? He's going to live. He's going to be able to get out. Even boxing is good. Yeah. Like, really good, though. I'll see bottom tiger. He's going to start scouting some action out, but the sentry's down. Traps in place. Majorly jumping over with the orchid. They have enough damage to burn him, they do. Uh, that soul burn making all the difference there, allowing them to, to pop him. Extremely tanky on Nyx. Magic wand, two fluffy hats, and the cloak. He, he almost actually survived there. See over to the side. An attempt being made onto Koifu. We'll see if they can do it this time. I mean, Jinkyu, he's going to go down. Koifu's still pretty healthy at the moment. He's got 50% of his HP. They're getting him out to the side. They'll move him with the epicenter. This time, Arme in position to join up and get involved. He gets the kill, which is really important the map uh, and making sure that they're not you know they're not sort of having this, these whole areas taken away and out of their control so playing arm mate he's alone and they cannot help him there's no one even close by insania will farm some skellies will farm a couple maybe of a good fear maybe got... he will even get the last hit yeah, no, no, you're right. I, I thought maybe the Willow could get over from the tier one, but no, no attempts to TP over and walk him. So it would have taken far too long to, to get there in time. I talked about the efficiency. He's handled Midas off cooldown while you're dead for 40 seconds. It's A one bottom. of those uh, bad moments when you're playing a carry. And but, uh, Nothing to say. He just gets caught out by Boxy to, to take anything away from Liquid. Liquid just having a very good grasp of the game as it is. Top lane, Boxy. I'll get the jump on him, and with the epicenter, they'll be able to do it. Boxy alone, Mickey. Maybe thinking about coming in with a counter play. He does have the Dream Coil, good to go, but with Boxy gone, he won't play too aggressive into the faces of PSG LGD. Puck is very hard to kill. Like, they don't have the real hero. Oh, All right, they're, they're going in. in. They're going to try for this, but Fapian's got the BKB, so there's nothing to say. They pop it, they turn with the fear onto the two of the Astro Step over towards Koifa. Koifa, he's going to get taken out. So's Insania. This time, PSG LGD able to fight back strong with the, th with the help of the BKBs. And once they're out, Liquid a little. Oh, Boxy, quick reactions. Now Insania actually thinking about coming in for the counter play. Mickey jumps across, BKB's out. Faith Bian and also Arme popping the BKB so they can commit over to Insania. They'll get the kill over to the side. The fear perfectly laid down by Jin Q. Catches out the two of them, allowing them to lock down Koifa. The arena comes out. The Koifa, he's still able to get the BKB off. And with the arena turnaround, they take out Faith Bian. They'll also look to bring down Arme the twice. They've got him the once. Can they do it a second time? Follow up perfectly start time. comes out from Tiger. They're locking him down for a huge duration. No chance for Arme to escape, and Mikke, he's just running down the back lines. He's over towards White. Uh, that was a huge misplay from Arme there to pop the BKB like straight away, and they only managed to kill Crystal Maiden, and uh, that's going to backfire. Like, even Sanking, uh, like he needs to be very careful how he initially BKB. stopped BKB. Ulti coming up from Crystal Maiden. We go with a jump. The catch straight away there with that God's Rebuke. Faith Beyond just wiped off the face of the planet. Taken out by Boxy, the arena's down, the BKBs are there for PSG LGD. As Arme tries to get him, Fake Beyond comes across, but Boxy, he's already they picked up a triple. It. They do lose the puck. Can they lose anything else here? Boxy down the wants. Remnant set in position for a round two, but the Gale's out onto nothing to say. He's able to jump out of the side, but he's ticking down to the poison. The freezing thrill coming up for the TP high out, ground. Try to TP out. Arme is trying to beat into Boxy, but Boxy, he just turns, takes him out with a rebuke. See if they can bring down Boxy. He's Boxy, he's stunned in position. Arme will be able to clean him up. Faith Beyond's back in with the bow strike. They're over on towards Koifa. It's taken them a couple of buybacks to swing this fight around, but they, they, they're they being able to get some action out of this. They've got to be a little careful now they're with Arme. They couldn't quite fully commit for Koifa. Still Koifa's 15 got seconds. A lot of boards set down. On that reincarnation. 
quite quite actually healing. They're gonna be a bit cautious as Liquid, they've got the full squad here. Pierce GLGD starting retreat, but Mikkei is in with the Dream Coil. BKB comes off from Faith Behind as he tries to step back. Arme is actually going to tank the Dream Coil hit and die the ones. He's going to be back for a second round. They turn. They manage to get the Soul by the Pro Strike out to the two of the Boxy. Pods the Arena pushing the back with the Gods Rebuke. They try to kill Quaifa, but they can't. Quaifa's out to the side. Another Astral Step. Is it enough? No, it's not. Quaifa's just healing up too much. They can't quite burst the Veno. And it, they lose two heroes for it. Two big ones as well. Nothing to say. And Faith Behind both going down. The, the Venomancer, it's just too much. He's too tanky. Like, they, they cannot kill him. Like, he uses that Poison Noah, keeps healing from Eternal Shroud. Seems like this is the, the Team Liquid. Like, get that uh, one tanky guy who can build Eternal Shroud, get some couple of hoods oh, up. Oh, look at uh, this. Been pinned to your own Tier 4 tower. It's not going to feel great as Jinkyu just getting dove upon. Liquid able to resume business as they take the Tier 3 onto the racks. Three heroes down on PSG and none, of course, with buyback available. They're not going to be able to do anything to stop this push. They can easily just go bottom. A lot of minus armor. Deso plus Orb of Destruction should be enough to clear those bottom barracks as well. I'm just taking objective after objective as, as Liquid just continuing to impress today. This is the, the fourth match in a row where they're, they're, just, they're looking unstoppable, of course. I mean, I, you don't really start a LAN any better than Liquid's doing so right. And already, yeah, the, well, the, the, this Roche, they, they're trying to make moves over towards it. It just goes down too quickly. They're trying to get in with a fear. They're going to still make the jump. But already, Liquid, they're going to be ready with a counter play. They spear Arme over towards the trees. Mickey is getting low. Can they actually kill him here? The arena's going to be dropped down. Mickey, he's got the orb out to the side. He's able to reset, keep himself fine. They've he's lost still alive. three. On PSG LGD, Xinq will be taken out slowly but surely by the freezing field of Insania. He tries to go for the TP out, Arme, but the Gleipnir in position to lock him down, stop his escape. GG is called as Liquid. They will continue. There's an incredible opening streak they're having here at the Major. Team Liquid is just too good.